Hi, I'm Kevin Berry, and this is my story about hope and unity. Well, I can tell you, uh, getting that early morning phone call after being the sheriff for so many years here, uh, it brought goosebumps and tears back down to my eyes when I found out what happened here in Orlando. But uh, the bright spot and the glimmer of hope was the way Orlando responded. And Orlando responded like uh, no other city uh, can. Uh, there was, the bloodlines were long. Uh, people, all the different restaurants were, you know, providing food and drink so that we could get the needed blood to those victims. <laughs> you still, uh, I, I feel for the community, I feel for the victims, I feel for the first responders, but the bottom line is real simple. Orlando is strong, and we will recover from this, and we need to work together as a community all the face, all the ethnic backgrounds, and get with the cops and get with security and make this place safe again. Well, I think uh, with still so many people in the hospital, we need to continue to give blood. We need to give the plasma that is needed. Uh, we also need to uh, open up our pocketbooks and help the, the victims and the victims' families. I'm very proud of what's going on here in Orlando in that respect, too. And at the same time, it is everybody's responsibility in this community to take security seriously. And this is the time that we've got to work with law enforcement and continue to make this community safe. And, uh, you know, we got a lot at stake here. Tourism is a big part of our economy, and we've got to make it safe to keep tourism strong. And by doing that, we make Orlando strong. Well, I, I think it uh, speaks volumes. Uh, the last time I saw the outpouring of love in this community was when we got hit with uh, three hurricanes in 44 days in uh, 2004. And everybody was working together to get everybody back to work and th get this uh, community back to work and uh, able to make money again. And uh, this tragedy is a little different. It's not a natural disaster. It's a man-made hate disaster. And uh, but it's also time that we all step up and do the same thing we did back in 2004, and that's care for one another and get our hearts in the right place and then pledge to make this community safe and work with the people to make it safe. Well, uh, you know, uh, I, I, one of the things that I uh, am, is very near and dear to my heart is the uh, law enforcement community. And I, uh, I watched how the first responders uh, dealt with an active shooter, the initial uh, police officer on the scene, then the group of four that went in and uh, confronted him a second time and drove him in and probably barricaded himself up into a room. And then the, uh, the, the SWAT team that went in and had to uh, do what they had to do to save other lives and rescue almost 30 persons. So uh, I, I applaud them. I applaud the fire response, the paramedics, the hospitals. Uh, I was in touch with all of them. And uh, w they all came together the way they were trained to come together in a crisis situation. And uh, uh, I I'm proud of them. That's the law enforcement and the public safety community. But I'm also proud of this community because um, <laughs> it kind of breaks it right into the heart. But it's time for Orlando to fight. It's time for this country to start fighting. And it's, t uh, it's time for Orlando to remain strong. And the only way we can do that is work together to make it safe. And uh, uh, on a personal note, I'm hurting. But at the same time, there's a part of me that is just enraged because of the uh, political correctness that's going on in this country today. It's time we do something about it.